Hey guys, it's Ryan. Uh, had some success last night. Got the uh, transmission controller working, plugged into the car, and actually drove around the block. Uh, I'm trying to splice some videos together, show you guys it actually working. All right. So what we got here is a lot of wire. Let's see if I can explain what's going on. So inside of here, this is my original transmission controller that I built using a pickaxe 20x2. My Mega Squirt 2 box down below it. They're just kind of screwed together and ran some wires in between. I uh, reused the internal VR sensor circuit to uh, condition the Ford vehicle speed output and it's bolted to the transmission. Uh, this cluster of wire on this breadboard here is a 10C 3.2 with a CAN bus transceiver. So I'm pulling CAN messages over this purple and blue wire out of the ECU, shoving it into a micro SD card. I also have a I2C, I2 C, I2 C, um, borrow altitude sensor, sending uh, I2C messages to the Tensi to kind of use that as a borrow input. So what I was doing is calculating the, uh, the output that it would give, convert that to an analog to digital value, pass it over the CAN bus, and then scale the borrow um, input based on that ADC count and created our... Uh, 60 kPa to 105 kPa range out of those values. Worked out pretty good, giving me a really solid solid borrow correction value. So also added a uh, injector driver board that I designed myself. I'm using that to drive an injector on my water meth injection. So I might, might reuse some of that stuff. Solid state relay, driving a Amazon water pump, uh, RV water pump. It's just plugged into a one gallon bucket of water it pressurizes it, PWM the injector as needed to shove water down the turbo. That seems to be working well also. But the plan is, wherever it went, MS3 box. So I have expansion harness, main harness, break them out all the way up to this stuff here. This is the actual connector running down to the transmission through the hump, um, down to the connector on the tranny. So 12 volts in, originally it brought it in, looped it through a diode and brought it back out. So I'm just looping it the same here. And then we have uh, blue, I believe is EPC, green is torque converter lockup, and then light green and light green with the blue stripe are nitrous one, nitrous two, which is also shift solenoid one, shift solenoid two. So out of the spaghetti of wire, connects together to my weather packs and then off to the transmission down below so really the only other connector to make all this work is a vehicle speed which i'm using pt4 uh, plugged into my tensi board so i was also measuring front and rear wheel speed so when it comes down to it i'll just be able to swap all these around uh might redo the wiring back to the sensors make it a little bit more robust and then splice it into the mega square harness power all right, so just do a quick walk around real quick. This is a 306 Ford uh, with a VR racing turbo. Um, my water meth injection I was talking about earlier. Made a 3D printed holder for a GM injector that I chopped the tip off of. I got a reasonable spray pattern and the volume of water that I need. So just run a quarter inch air line and two wires running all the way back into that control board. Um, Run GM coil packs, get rid of the distributor, um, 36 minus 1 off the crank, bracket off the water pump down there, so, or not the water pump, oil pan down there at the bottom somewhere. Uh, yeah, then made it to a 4R70W. It's working pretty well. All right, I'll show you guys real quick. Line pressure. Line pressure minimum. Uh, we should be able to see a response in one of our two gauges. Let's see here. So that's a nice number. 65 seems to work well.
do is make the downshift out of fourth happen a little sooner. So we can come over here to three, four three minimum. We're gonna bump that up to about 30. Once it falls below zero, we should get a downshift right about 